me Scotty McClue and I thought we'd pop up and say hi Saturday night the internet phone in of course nothing gets past me you see one hour of superb scintillating information education and entertainment not just for one nation but for all the nations of the world watching lovely to have you with us and a massive dinky do to you now let's just see what's going on here uh, I'll get you up all the proper captions so you know what is what. We'll get that one up for you. There you are. And then, you know, you can give us a call as soon as you like. Fantastic. Lovely to be with you. I'm Scotty McClure, hashtag Floatai, the first lord of the internet. And it's Saturday night. As I say, nothing gets past me. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to see if we can bring in our TikTokers as well. And let me know how everything's looking. Very, very important. Très important, as we say en français. Let's get the chat on the go here. Hello, McClue. Hello, Professor Numptyheed. You're on time tonight, Numptyheed. Well done. Excellent stuff. Thank you, do, says Chris. Chris, lovely to have you with us. And there's Susan. Hi, Scotty. Hi, Susan. Always love to have us on a And uh, you can join in the pop-up as well. Fantastic stuff. Now, um, to, uh, to let me know how the reception is tonight, because I'm not actually in McClure Towers. Have you been watching the golf up at St. Andrews? I see the First Minister was there earlier in the week. I haven't, Andrew, because I don't actually golf. But I did once uh, be involved in making a video of St. Andrews and the home of golf. Uh, stream's going well. Thanks, Numpty Heat, for touching. All right, Scotty. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us and a very warm welcome. Scotty, did you get £300 payment yet? Hello, Dodsey. Dinky Dodsey from the Isle of Man. Always a privilege, never a chore, I say to you. Saturday evenings. Have you checked out the latest YouTube and TikTok videos? because they're all made with love for you. And I think it's very important that you watch them and then you can share them and like them. Hope you're well, Richie. Absolutely lovely to have you with us. All right, Scotty, says Richie. Is the video able to be seen anywhere? Yes, you should still be able to get it. So there you are. It's um, Adam Lyle, yes, from Edinburgh, the, the Ghost Tours. And we made a lovely video of St. Andrews when I was at Scott FM, so I think that video was something like 1995 or 96. Tremendous stuff. Let's see if we can get him. Adam Lyle, the ghosts of old Edinburgh there. Tremendous stuff. There's a moose loose up at the hoose, Brendan. Fantastic. We love this. What's this? Says Neil. Neil, this is Scotty McClue on Saturday night, popping up to say dinky doo to every single one of you, particularly on your TikTok. So there you go. It's something totally different, Neil. Fantastic. Just the kind of thing you should be watching. And uh, remember, if you have chanced upon Scotty McClue, never, ever miss a moment. Because you miss a moment of Scotty McClue, you miss a moment of life. There you have it. Um, I think you do since the 19s. I've loved you since the 19s. Ah, yes, the 90s, the 90s, yes, the 90s. We're 30 years old a couple of weeks ago, fantastic. This is what it's all about. And uh, I say good evening to you. If you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. If you're watching, get sharing and tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 that Scotty McClue is live, just so you're saying dinky-doo. Now, uh, the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland and um, I believe the Prime Minister has resigned. I'm not sure if he actually has gone to the Queen yet and resigned. Uh, Tippy Tappy on the screen, Tiki Toki. Absolutely, Brendan. Thank you for your Tippy Tappy on the Tiki Toki on the screen. And uh, we seem to have 103 likes. We like that. That is absolutely fantastic. Now then. Uh, is the video able to be seen? It should, Andrew. You should be able to see that. 
Um, I'll see if I can find out if it's up on YouTube. Hello, pal, says the wonderful Thomas Hamilton. Hello, Tom. How are you getting on tonight? Are you dinky do? That's what's important. I'll uh, open the lines in a bit. Dinky do, you legend that you are. Skid, I'd love to have you with us. Good day, so Scotty. Geodog from South Africa. Now, Geodog, what sort of um, seasonal form are you in in South Africa? Are you able to have a bray? That's what we need to know. Uh, are you able to have a bray? Where is your badge? I know I haven't got my badge on because I had to use the hat to go shopping. Uh, so I thought I'd better take the badge off or I'd get mobbed. I would go, you Scotty McClure. Oh, wow, can I get your autograph? See, look, well, I'm just going to do a wee bit of shopping. Dinky do from the house that has covered. Oh, Jimmy, I'm sorry to hear that. Hi, says Xander. Xander, so glad you could join us. And a big hi to you, I say to you. Fantastic. Uh, hello from Falkirk, Scotty. Kitty cat, meow. Uh, do you know Churchill? Do you mean the insurance dog? Or did I, did I know Winston Churchill? I first went to his old home, Blenheim Palace, when I was seven years of age, and Churchill was very much still living. So there you have it, Churchill. Absolutely. We shall fight them on the beaches. Uh, there you go. How's that for a wee impersonation of the late Sir Winston Churchill? Uh, wonderful stuff. Um, hello from the Tuna Keith. Oh, Ken, I know the Tuna Keith well. Uh, a friend of mine was once lying on a beach in Morocco, I think it was, and he rolled over, and the sun, of course, was burning everybody's eyeballs out, you know, uh, really absolutely roasting, and he looked up and he said, aye, they're getting a fine day for the Keith show. <laughs> so we love the tuna Keith, Ken. Hello from the USA, JC. Lovely to have you with us, Jace. Or JC, how do you like me to say that from America? I notice England and the north of Ireland have the same anthem. Yes, indeed. God save the Queen. Scotland has the same anthem. That's the Scottish national anthem. God save the Queen. We love singing it with gusto. Gusto's a good chap. In the dead of winter side, but of course, just not spaghetti. No spaghetti on the braai and no rice. It sounds like you can't put carbohydrates on the braai. Uh, yes. It has everybody checked out the latest videos. Have you seen the one of the baby seagull? That's what I want to know. Dinky do, Scotty. Good to see you, sir. So Geodog says South Africa is in the dead of winter. Uh, hi, Susan and everyone. And Scotty, how are we? I can't get through to you. Would you like to come on, Kareem, for a wee chat? I can always open up the lines. Uh, guys, the phone lines are open. If anybody would like to give me a call, the number is along the bottom of your screens. Thank you, dear. Kareem has just joined us. Uh, Kareem, how is all the streaming tonight? Are we in good fettle, I ask you? Feel free to give me a call, and we will take your call, Kareem. The phones should be open now. Uh, fine weather for saving turf in the bog. John Joe, how are we, my dear fellow? How lovely to have you with us, and welcome, welcome to Scotty McLeod. Right, who hasn't watched the video of the seagull? Get watching. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Thank you, Scotty's Kareem. Kareem, how lovely to have you with us. How are we tonight? I'm well. I don't know if it might be my signal, but do you keep jumping a little bit, Scotty, on all the... I, I might do. Out. I'm not actually in McClue Towers at the moment, so I might uh, do a little bit, Kareem, you know what I mean? We have to adapt to the situation. Absolutely. Your riser no, says it's a bit important. laggy. <laughs> What's that, Kareem? I just thought to tell you in for you just in case. Oh, no, no, absolutely. I think uh, we are doing our best, but... Uh, We'll see how it goes. I don't want to lose our beautiful TikTokers, if you know what I mean. Absolutely, Scotty. But they're, they're yeah, saying that they're lagging a bit. Yeah, okay, it's not bad, but I just thought, I might just thought to, you know, sometimes, 
this the issues happen there. Yes, yes. Oh, absolutely. And I think it's just something. But I did get the engineers to the connection at McCrew Towers, and it should be a yes. lot better uh, when we're on. Excellent. No, brilliant, Scotty. Well, this Tuesday, I am going away on holiday. <laughs> ah! Yeah, I'm going to the Canary Islands for nine days. Oh, wow, we will miss you. Well, I'm hoping um, to try and call next Saturday when you're on live, but from uh, Gran Canaria. So, oh, wow, um, that would be amazing. I'm hoping to do that. I'm just again, it depends on the, the signal and everything, uh, but I'll, I'll try my best. Yeah, that would be absolutely amazing, Karim. A call from Gran Canaria. Because uh, we love being we love being international. There's John Joe saying, "I love the show." Yes. And Brian has followed us. We've spoken the past, Scotty. I'm actually quite scared of flying, so but I'm determined to go, and I'm going to try my best. Well, I think you need to just relax, Karim, if you possibly can. If you imagine yes. McClue sitting beside you and uh, yes. and giving you all the chit chat. Is I uh, although you know you don't have Wi-Fi or in the very big expensive ones you can actually buy their Wi-Fi, but most of the flights, the budget ones, you don't have Wi-Fi. But right. uh, you, can, you can download like a, a program. So I'm just going to watch it on my phone. But I'm also going to see if I can do that for YouTube and see if I can watch one of your uh, podcasts. As yes, well. YouTube, and don't forget Twitch, Kareem. Uh, you know, Scotty underscore McClue were very new to Twitch. Well, not new because, I mean, the account's been open for a few years, but, but we're new to actually building that up. I haven't even managed to give Twitch my full attention yet. So I would ask everybody with Twitch TV to look up Scotty underscore McClure. And because that we go up. Yes, and I would ask everybody on YouTube to get subscribing and start sharing it with their mates. Definitely, Scotty. Always, always. Well, what I wanted to speak about tonight very briefly was that for some people, they've already received their government payment for the gas and electricity. Yes. Uh, mines goes up tomorrow because my tariff um, finishes at midnight tonight. So I'm now accepted a new tariff which is, is a lot dearer, but when you do your calculations, Scotty, you know it's going up about another 70% in mm -hmm. October. So although we're going to be paying, if I'm paying more now, it works out cheaper and rather it all going up again another 70% in but October. But Karim, nobody has told us why it's going up. They make very lame excuses like, oh, it's, it's the war in the Ukraine. Now, I can remember years ago, I remember saying to a garage, when the car came back, the brakes weren't as good as they should have been. He said, well, we didn't touch the brakes. Maybe it's the snowy weather. And I thought, no, I'm not having this. It's a bit like when you go to the doctor and they say, yes, if you could get a bit of weight off. Now, you, you, the doctor should by rights be saying, what's causing the weight? <clears throat> Is it the fact that you're stuffing your face with cream cakes and chips? Is it the fact that your liver is not working, your kidneys are not working, your pancreas are not working, you're not exercising? Let's find out what's causing the weight and then we can start to tackle it. One thing that I've heard on about with the rail strikes in the East, they've got these trade unionists that have come on, and something quite interesting that they've said that you see all these big businesses and companies saying prices have to rise because we need to invest in infrastructure and development. No. If we don't, if the prices don't rise, we can't do this. And it's basically they've been called out. All what they are protecting is their vast amount of profits and what's going to their shareholders. Mm -hmm. there's, there's nothing about development and infrastructure. And I like think that, that. essentials, I think essentials like this, they should nationalise it or give everyone shares. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You see, that would be another way to do it, to say, no, no, You've all got a share in this. Like, for instance, yeah. they bailed out the banks with taxpayers' money. Well, 
That's criminal because in Iceland, Scotty, they they actually arrested the bankers they for did. them in that situation. They did. And over here, we, we gave them more money. Yes, <laughs> that's right. This, this is this is what goes on. So you see, this is why this week I was saying, while the Tories are in uproar and they're all scrabbling to to you know replace poor old Boris just because he's told a few whoppers. Um, yeah. You know, and and all that, and and also just about wrecked the whole economy. Um, you know, the, well, not him, his party uh, have just about wrecked the economy completely. This is why I was calling for um, Brexit. You see, is what did it. This is why I was calling for a, a national government like we had during the Second World War. Uh, you uh, see, and bring in the Labour's and the Liberals. And I don't think you would really need the Greens, to be honest, because they are very, very minority. And I also think we need to not be under pressure over all this carbon thing. Uh, Scotty, I think the problem is just now, if you look at England, it's always going to be a, a, a two-horse race. And both, in my opinion, as bad as each other. Big business now, uh, as you know, that the lobbying MPs, etc., um, and the Tories have been really bad with that. But Labour are not any better, and a lot of the things that the Conservatives, you know, that they're doing, that they're agreeing with, Labour are just are doing the same, or, or not wanting to rock. Oh, the and listen, example, I, as we used Brexit to say in the old days, we don't say it now. You can't get a fag packet between them. Uh, uh, you know, and uh, that's that's been the problem. I mean, this is where Labour uh, used to fall out with the SNP. You couldn't uh, get a fag packet between them, you know, because one was actually born out of the other one originally. Yes, yes. You see, well, so so I so I think I think we need something totally on, different. On, they'd be rolling in their graves to see what Labour oh. turned into. Oh, Clem Attlee and and Manny Shinwell and that lot. I I I fell out with the idea of Manny Shinwell because he was the one that ploughed up the gardens of the beautiful old stately home in Yorkshire just out uh, of politics of envy, and I don't hold yeah. with politics of envy. We've lost a lot of beautiful old estates in Scotland uh, just yeah. due to death duties. The family couldn't cope, so they just handed the whole yeah. lot over. Yeah. Well, Scott, my point was to add on to what I was saying about the, the main thing wasn't about the, the, the companies and we know that there's greed in every big giant business and yeah. greed is always at the heart of it. But again, and something that I've read in social media, the money has went out now. The, I think the people have received £650. Right. £100 comes later on in the year, October. Ah, oh, that's what the guy went when he said to me at the start, have you had your £300 yet? I thought he'd sent me £300. Uh, I've I've well, got it now. I thought the guy that was on earlier yeah. had sent me three hundred pounds. Uh -huh. I didn't realise he was talking about the power bill. Yes. Well, that, as far as I know, it's going direct to people's bank accounts. Right. Me. And what it should be doing is going straight to the gas and electricity companies to put in credit because a lot of people already now have been saying, oh, I've, I've, with that money, I've, I've booked a, a holiday, I've bought a telly, I've got this, that and the next thing. So the money that they're getting to look after them throughout the so coming months is now going to spend in alcohol, within drugs, with people with addictions, when it should be going straight to the power companies. Yeah, so, so they're going to run into big like problems. That. They're going to run into big problems when the bill comes in. Well, that's when you're going to start hearing the media, oh, the poor people, the, this, that, the next thing. I'm not saying that's everybody. Yes. You're going to have a lot of people in every community up and down the country that are going to be in problems because they've spent that money on something else. And when the winter comes in, oh, there's not enough for the food banks, or oh, there's not enough heat. We can't decide between this and that. Well, you've been given money. Where, where have you put it? Yeah, exactly. Yes, good man, Kareem. Excellent. Lovely hearing you. And uh, we'll 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 press on, and uh, we'll yes. see we'll see what happens. Fantastic. Yeah, well, hopefully, Scotty, I'll give you a call next week in Gran Canaria. If not, I'll try and speak. Um, 
message on the live pop-ups whenever you do them and take care. I would love that. Have a safe flight, Kareem, and imagine old McClure's coming with you and we're going to chat all the time during the flight. Thank you. Thank you, dear Scotty. Thank you, do, sir. <laughs> and you bless you. Top man, that's our Kareem. Lovely, lovely call, of course. Terrific stuff. And we always like to hear it. Now then, lots of reaction from you. Let's get going here. Geodog. We had a lovely Scottish pipe band day today. I wore my Glen Gary, says Geodog, in South Africa. Good to hear you again, Scottish. It's been a long time, says Brian. A nice bevy. I'm okay in the air with my old pal, and he mentions a famous whiskey. You're live on Scottish phone in. Who's that? Hello, man. It's Martin. How are you? Martin La. How lovely to hear from you. How are you? Good, because you weren't well the last time we spoke. Yes, I've my own, my own feels a lot, lot better now. Good, that's wonderful. And are you still uh, doing your DJ? The thing, the thing you were saying about your badges. Yes. Are you going to sell them yet? And, no, we haven't got a million followers. We need a million followers on TikTok and we need our subscribers up. And then we'll look at merchandise. Cool, cool. Yes. Cool. Absolutely, fantastic stuff. Yeah. So that's what's going on there. What about your DJing? Uh, my DJ is doing, doing, doing very, very well. Yes. Um, I, am, I am still on it. Um, I am on it every second or third day. So wow. So, and what is your views of um, Boris Johnson re resigning? Well, I, I think... Um, he was beginning to be a bit of a burden, but I'm rather anxious about who they're going to replace him with because, you know, they, they haven't really come up with a real humdinger. Aye, because there's um, two females and a male in, in the race now. Yes, we, well, you we shouldn't be bothered about any of that. I don't think the gender matters. I've never really oh. thought it does, you know, male, female. It's can they do the job? You see, that's 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 the whole point. And we know Boris, he got us into that Brexit thing and that completely paralyzed the country. Hello? I think we've just lost Martin, guys. There we are, not to worry. You've got the number in front of you, do come on. There we have it, fantastic. Who have we got here? Hello, you're live with Scottish phone in, who's that? Ah, Martin, brilliant. I thought we'd lost you there. Lovely to hear you. I'm back, I'm back. I'm back, I'm back. You're back, I'm back. you're back. Isn't that fantastic? Um, um, the thing was just and I bought it back. It's not because I've been told a lot of lies in Parliament with having that party and all that stuff. Well, that didn't do him any good, but it didn't do us any good either. And the problem is, I, I feel, uh, from Boris's point of view, from the point of view of his career, he got it absolutely right, making foreign secretary and then prime minister, mayor of London, all these things. So he's done an absolute belter. He's pulled a blinder career-wise, and then he had a, a tremendous landslide of an election because people were totally sucked in with all that Brexit stuff. Now, the problem is that now the pigeons are coming home to roost. So from Boris's point of view, as a career move, He's pulled a blinder, so all is well there with Boris's career. For the rest of us living in the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, I think he was the wrong person in the wrong place at the wrong time. Yeah. You know, and I think, and, and that's all we can really say about it. We didn't know that he was going to tell a load of whoppers when he became prime minister. I think he just got carried away with the whole thing. You know, and 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 you can't really see being being called prime minister. There's there's no official title as prime minister. His actual title is the first lord of the treasury, and the chancellor would be the second lord of the treasury in the same way that McClure's the first lord of the internet. Yes. You see, that's that's my official title, but um, the 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 problem is that. It's an honorary title, and the, the, you should have a kind of 
maybe an element of humility about the fact you've been given that title. You don't just stand up and start telling whoppers. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's that's been the problem. As my grandmother would say, you can be aware of a thief, but not a liar. And um, yeah. and and you can't, you don't know where you are with some of the fibs. I think we do with Boris because they're kind of, um, how can I say, it's, it's almost like a schoolboy telling a, a head teacher a load of lies. You kind of suss it, you think, when he's telling you it, you think, ah, I don't think that's true. You see, and that's that's the kind of thing. So you kind of know where you are uh, with, with Boris. Everything he said, I've thought, now nah, a pinch of salt with that one. Yeah, but, uh, but there he goes. But he's on his merry way. He will do very, very well. And I know for a fact that um, if you are, uh, if you're prime minister, you get a serious amount of money for the rest of your life as a as a pension, you know, a salary. Yeah. Uh -huh. How does um, how does um, Twitch work? Is um, Twitch and other media online? Twitch, yes, online Twitch well. is Twitch is a massive, massive streamer, and uh, yeah. I, we're we're live on Twitch right now. And if you went on to Twitch and go to Scotty underscore McClue, then uh, you'll see the account and you should follow me and do a bit of watching for a few minutes. That'd be lovely. So, as in, so it's Twitch like the TikTok? Yeah, you just look up, you just look up Twitch. Uh, and you'll, you'll see it there and then you can pop in and have a look at all the stuff. In fact, you might want to look at it for yourself. You know, you could do very well on Twitch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a big, big performer, but it's just a question of getting everybody knowing when you're on. Yes, uh, I know. You see, that's that's your difficulty, Martin, because there's so much media out there. When Scotty McClue was on Scott FM, everybody knew he was on Scott FM, so they all tuned in at 10 o'clock. But everybody doesn't know about this yet, so we've got to tell ten to tell ten to tell ten. Or put the put link on your bio so people will will know when you live on Twitch. Yes, yes, I think that's important as well. Well, I I need to do some work on Twitch. It's just like all these things; you need to get the time to sit down and have a look at everything. But right right now we are going out on TikTok, Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, and Twitch. Cool. That's rather cool, isn't it? <laughs> Martin, take care of your dear self. I'm going to press on and we'll catch up soon. Love you lots, Lala, la, and dinky do. There we are. That's our Martin. That is just absolutely amazing. Keith Sneddon, what are you doing sending me a great British pound? You lovely, lovely, generous man. Guys, Keith Sneddon, who's a, a, one of the most generous people on the planet, has just sent me a pound on YouTube. I think that is incredible. He must have tapped the dollar. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Now, lots of reaction from you. Here's Dean. Berlin, unlimited train, tram, bus, and underground, nine euros for the month of July, regular and on time. Isn't that beautiful? Good evening, Scotty Dinky Doo from Norwich, says the wonderful Neil. Hi, what do you think is next for Boris? Who do you think will take over? Well, Boris will get himself a job anywhere he likes. But there you are. I'll tell you what I thought would have been an interesting thought for Boris to throw his hat in the ring for the Tory leadership contest going on just now, just to see what happens and how many votes he got. So I think the 1922 committee should meet again, have an emergency meeting, say, we've just been listening to Scotty McClure and uh, we've had a, an emergency meeting and decided that Boris should throw his hat in the ring as well. Thank you, dear Scotty. Last spoke to you 30 years ago on the radio. Weasel beast. How amazing. I love it. There we are. Now then, I believe I can fly, says Numpty Heed. Numpty Heed, do you not remember watching the uh, the Batman stuff? So there we are. Dinky do. Right, I've got a problem uh, with the uh, TikTok. So we'll have to say goodbye just now. 
to our beautiful TikTokers. It's a connection problem. And we can say thank you to our beautiful TikTokers. That's what's happening there. Dinky Doo from Wilmington in North Carolina says the wonderful Larry. Thank you, Larry. And well, Susan, anxious about flying, scream. Yes, indeed. Love you, McClue. Keith Sneddon, love you, mate. I'll tell you, that's so good of you. And I don't just love you because of your wonderful generosity. I love you because you're you. And that's the thing. Excuse me a second. Whew. It's roasting hot in this studio tonight. So I had to have a quick comfort break there. That's what it's all about, I say. Uh, my friend's helicopter broke down whilst going for its MOT, says Numpty Heat. I didn't realize you needed an MOT. Uh, night, Sir McClure, Keith Sneddon, night to you and thank you so much. I've sent five as well. You naughty, naughty boy. Yes, you have. Keith Sneddon, guys, has not just sent one pound. He sent another five pounds. And it's just come up there. Isn't that beautiful? There we are. Chris says, have you been for a cruise in the Waverley? Not for a few years, to be honest with you. Uh, I'd love to go for a cruise. I remember the Waverley very well when uh, she was uh, the Caledonian steam packet paddle steamer. And um, she has a wonderful history, you know. And it was a dear old friend of mine that uh, ran the company that put the engines in the Waverley. Rankin and Blackmore in Greenock. Lovely man, Jim Ferrier. Uh, just enjoyed a barbecue down at the caravan. I bet you're jealous, Scotty. Well, we'll see who has to get up in the night. <laughs> uh, Keith Sneddon, I thank you so much for your kindness. Uh, how's you got a new phone now? So there we are. Ah, Martin's got a new phone, have you? Uh, engine 42, beep, beep. Uh, there we go. Beep. The Leylands, the Leylands, beep, beep. The Leylands are dedicated now. We love the Leylands. We love them. Fantastic. Uh, what have we got? I have to try to call you. You must call us. The lines are open and we want to hear from you. It's very, 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 very important. Très important, I say. So there we are. We'll uh, say goodnight to our beautiful TikTokers and we're sitting them uh, down there. Fantastic. Keith, thank you very, very much. TikTok started tonight. John, I've just gone off because it's a connection problem here. We're not in McClue Towers. Uh, so there you are. Keith has sent me six pounds. Scotty, you're fine on YouTube, but uh, you keep jumping on TikTok. Well, the TikTok's gone, Kareem, just now. Uh, and we'll maybe get it back later. Uh, John Donnelly, yes, indeed, I think we have. Yes, I'm trying to think in what connection. So there you go. If you'd like to give us a call, feel free. The lines are open and we enjoy talking to you. So there we are. We'll stick with the YouTube just now. Love you too, Keith. Top man. There we are. Fantastic stuff. Keith's gone off uh, to bubbles as far as I understand. Now, you'll see my face is um, got uh, a little bit of growth on it again. I did shave last week, but it irritated my skin terribly, guys. So we might have to go back to the beard. But we'll see how life goes. There we are. Dinky do Taylor the Sweet. Taylor the Sweet. We love it. Guys, can everybody share this uh, this stream right now? And tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Susan says, good night to Keith. It's a lovely, lovely thing to do. I thank you. Night, Sir McClue. Night, Keith Sneddon. And you sleep well, my dear boy. We send you love. We send you strength. We want wellness for you, Keith boy. I shall tell you. Scotty, are you getting away this summer? Uh, I don't know, Kareem. We'll have to see what's what. Work always beckons. And uh, we do love work. Uh, you know, so uh, we'll see if we can catch a few days away. That would be rather nice and get uh, a bit of a change maybe up to Argyle or something. It's such a shame that that pandemic came because I was about to take an appointment and I think it was Gran Canaria. It was covering 
I'm sure it was the Canary Islands. Well, look, I was talking to a first-class chap that did a lot of radio in the Canary Islands and across Spain, and he wanted Scotty McClue's show on it. And that would have been amazing. Who knows? Opportunity knocks, I say. And we've got a lot of uh, a lot of working life left in us for the old broadcasting. Scotty, good to see you again. I'm back. I'll get you new rhymes we left off. There was an old lady called Bessie who went to Loch Ness to see Nessie. She fell in the mud with a terrible thud. And Nessie seen Bessie. Oh, Messi. <laughs> I might just do that one again, Peter. Uh, this is one of Peter's rhymes, Peter Connolly, the wonderful Peter Connolly. Um, so here we go. There was an old lady called Bessie who went to Loch Ness to see Nessie. She fell in the mud with a terrible thud. And Nessie seen Bessie. Oh, Messi. I like that. Yes, we like the lyrics. If they're clean, do send them in because we are guests in people's houses. And I look around the internet and I see poor people swearing all the time. I came across a guy and they call themselves auditors and they go around winding up police and uh, folk like that. And I think this is just wrong. And they go, what law am I breaking and this sort of stuff? Uh, am I being detained? You know, and they're just a menace, these people. And I think that the police should never, ever, ever have to be spoken to like that. I think that the police are getting demonized in mainstream media at the moment. And we need to put a stop to that because we need the police. Uh, I'm here. Oh, you're there, Keith. Good man. I thought you were saying you were off to bubbles. Uh, so there we are. Now, uh, Scotty, good to see you again. Fantastic. And thank you, do you too. This is what it's all about. Give us a call, guys. Keith, you should be giving me a wee call so we can get a wee chat. Uh, if you're feeling up to it, that would be lovely. You'll get the number across the screen there. It's a uh, plus four four if you're international. If you're in Edinburgh, it's uh, 0141. 6289795. And you're watching Scotty McClue, Voice of the World Radio Talk Show. Uh, this is the big one. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? It's a very good evening to you, Scotty. Good evening. Who is that? Good evening. It's Numpty. Numpty. I, I didn't well. recognize you with your phone voice on. Uh -huh. anyway, 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 it's a very good evening to you, Scotty. Yes, a very... The formality is over. The formality is finished? I, I think we've met net, net zero, Scotty. Can there's net zero nonsense? I net zero and carbon. Well, I mean, I don't think you... You need carbon to live, don't you? Aye, but listen, Scotty, we've limited passengers for the flights. Yes. Uh, uh, that so now, numpty heat. Numpty hey, heat. Wait, wait a minute. <coughs> Numpty Heat. What? What? Numpty Heat, we've limited passengers for the few flights that are flying. Well, that cuts down on the fuel. Yes. The carbon emissions, Scotty. We've, we've had the train strike, so people are only going on their steam train. That's right. Uh, the price of pedals went up, so people are driving less. Yes, that's what they want. So I think we've met carbon net zero. I carbon think, yes, carbon. I think governments are in a panic about all this carbon stuff. And I think we're just going to have to take it a bit easy. Because it took uh, a long, 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 long time to get uh, the world yeah. carbonized. Uh, so what's been happening, Scott? Well. You'll, you'll never guess what, Scott. I'm doing the carbon. I will never guess what. And you had a barbecue tonight. Oh, I know everything. Oh, I, 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 all the intel comes back to McLean, you know. Absolutely. <laughs> anyway, so I, I'm, I'm here with the dog. The dog's enjoying itself, yes. too. Numpty Heat, have you seen some of these things on the internet when a boy goes filming and noises up the polis? 
I Sky and I'm hooked on them. I see them every night. But I think it's bad news. One of them was very, very cheeky to the police. And uh, what do you mean he was very cheeky? The policemen probably deserved it. No, it's no, the police don't yes, deserve yes, it. Yes, They're yes, just yes. making a polite <laughs> inquiry. And I think Sorry. we need to change the law a bit. Now, wait a minute. The, 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 the only inquiry about a crime, if there's reason to believe that a crime's yes. been permit, uh, committed... Yes, but that doesn't um, need anybody to cheek up. A crime should be cheeking up to the police. Scotty, they, these people with the cameras, they're just uh, using the rights. Yes, I know, but they're cheeking up to the police. And you should... the police are cheeking up to them first. No, 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 no. I've never heard the yes, police yes, cheek up. The police yes, are going, excuse me, excuse me, um, can I ask what you're doing? And there's one boy I'm goes, oh, I'm you. just filming. No, no, Scott, I'm telling you. There's nothing breaking the law about filming. No, I'm not saying there is. But what I'm saying is these boys are cheeking up to the police. Oh, and I and I think day. I think I think if you in my day if you cheeked up to the police you get the birch. Oh, or a bit up the backside. Aye, so I mean, what's what's changed? Where's PC Murdoch? Well, the thing is, people why is Ur Wally with the camera no getting one up the backside with the oh, with the police oh, boot? People, people can their rights these days. They've looked, they've been to college. They're oh. well educated. Yes. And they can. They can the right. Oh no, listen, uh, I'm all for the rights. The policeman, what's your I, I'm all for the rights, but you, you you shouldn't be able to ask the policeman's name. You should have to give your own name and uh, and you shouldn't be allowed to cheek up. Scotty, why do you see that as cheek? Why do you Because they they they, 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 they No, they do things why like do Not at all. I don't think they're asking who I am, and I say Scotty McClure. So, so why is the different? Well, it, yeah. It, yeah, but I don't understand. This guy doesn't give his name. He goes, I don't have to give my name, and they should well, say, Well, I'm afraid you do. Right. Or, they, or they should just right. say, Scotty. They should just say, If we see you around here again, we'll, we'll book you. No, I'm not saying the way. No, but these guys are in danger of us losing our rights because the police will only put up with that. Numpty Heat, the police will only put up with that for a short time. I'm telling you. Because you can, you can, I'll win. I'll win the argument. No, of course you will. No, nobody's nobody's right. nobody's within the rights to cheek up to the polis. I no. no, 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 because no. The the ones in no, the no, I've never met story. a cheeky policeman yet. I'll tell you. I'll tell you not to eat. So there you are. So I'm just making the point. These kind of people will lose us our rights. No, Scotty. Yes. I think they're actually keeping the police on, on check. You well, know? I don't know. Yeah, but they shouldn't. The way to do that, nobody needs to cheek up to them. No, but they're keeping them in check. You know, the police have it's to one, It's them one thing to say, them. no, it's actually, it's actually my rights to do that. It's another thing yeah. to start cheeking up the police, calling them names and things. Well, listen, if you pull a camera, the policeman will treat you with respect. Trust me on that. Well, we'll check. we shall see. You we, go with your camera and go and film the police stations. I, I think, uh, I think, I know, I think if you're caught doing something like that, there's something wrong. That's dodgy. No, no, no. What's wrong with filming the police station? For yeah, what, yeah, but what, what's the point in it? You see what I'm saying to you? It's interesting to the viewers. Ah, it's no interest at all. An old building well, where uh, a few poor panda cars. Oh, oh, there's no sure dodgy. Way. I'm telling you, I've never had so much nonsense oh. in my life. But, oh, no, no, but I don't I'm want these people. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you, I don't want us to lose our rights through just idiots abusing them. <laughs> no abusing them. They're within their rights to say, um, I don't have to give you my name. I have the right to remain silent. All right, yeah, listen, no, I listen, not to eat. I get all that. I'm, I'm up yeah. for that. Nobody's more for human rights than McClue. 
You know that. I've probably, I've probably even got us a few more human rights since I started. No, listen, absolutely not. Listen, numpty heat, I can go with that. It's the cheeking up that's rang. Aye, because the policemen are, are approaching the guy with the camera. Yeah, but they're coming up just to ask him what he's doing. Aye, because it's their stuff. You know, yes, we, they, they know. What they might be better doing, listen, numpty heat, what they might be better doing is um, putting out to all the police stations, do not ever engage with these guys unless there's a reason to do so. No, Scotty, the internet's educating the public. To I just walk past them. So if you see board, these guys ha camera. hanging about intentionally going, hi, hi, hey, hey, and what's going on here, and all the rest of it, just ignore them. Sorry, listen, I've been polite to a policeman, but I've had nothing but cheap back, you know, oh, and I've had Well, maybe that's just because maybe, you maybe you'd wound them up or something like that, you know? That's because I look dodgy, Scotty. My, my, collar, my collar numbers are 17 and a half. I bet he has. <laughs> anyway, listen, I'm going to have to go now. You'd better, but, uh, you know, you've probably oh. said enough for one night. But good crack, by the way, Numpty Heat. You're getting my sore heat now because right. you're losing the argument. You're getting us all a sore heat because you lost the argument before you started. What a lot of rubbish. I've never heard so much nonsense in all my life. Think you do. Away you go. I'll Away go. you go. Listen, have a lovely time at the caravan. Wait, Scotty. And I'll don't, enjoy myself. Don't wreck the shop. Think you do. All right, then. <laughs> Jim, uh, I cannot discuss that at all at the moment. You can never discuss something that's going on. Uh, there we have it now. Here's Frank Meyer from Australia. Good morning, Scotty Dinky Doo from Australia. How's the first lord of the internet? Always good to listen to you. We always learn something. You will, Frank, absolutely. And I always learn something. And it was quite interesting to hear Numpty Heat's opinion there. Although he was certainly getting a wee bit heated. He was getting a wee bit heated. I can tell you. There we are. We had to lose our beautiful uh, TikTokers tonight. Um, I'm afraid just because uh, it's it's too much for the old internet. Fantastic. But lovely to be with you. Because remember, we are streaming on several platforms. And we're streaming across the world with Scotty McClue. Hashtag Flow Time, the first lord of the internet. Scotty McClue's voice of the world radio talk show. Always lovely to have you with us. So there we are. Fantastic. Now then, um, what have we got here? Oh, yes. I like that. That's absolutely fantastic. Lovely, lovely, lovely. If you've been wanting to give us a call, the lines are open now. We've still got another 10 minutes so uh, feel free to come on. Now, remember, we're across the internet on YouTube. So get subscribing on the YouTube channel. We're on Facebook Live. So you'll be able to see us on Facebook right now. And uh, we're on TikTok. Well, we were on TikTok. We're not on TikTok right now just because of the coverage, um, you know, because the, the signal's not strong enough. But we're also on Twitch. So I would quite like you to get on to Twitch and uh, you get us at Scotty underscore McClue. Follow us on Twitch and become a member of that wonderful, wonderful family. Tremendous stuff. Love being with you guys. And uh, get sharing as well. That would be a terrific. Fantastic. Keith uh, Stedden was on earlier talking about the Leylands, the beautiful old buses with the Gardner diesel engines. Keith, another one that had the Gardner diesel was the um, Atkinson truck. I don't even remember the big Atkinsons with a lovely round chrome ring with a big A right in the center and down at the uh, the bottom right-hand side, I think it was, it would tell you what Gardner Diesel was in that truck. 
Boom, 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 boom. There we are. Okay, would you after? Hey, Jim, yes, who knows, but I, I really genuinely can't because of the law. Uh, so there you are. The law would never, ever allow it uh, from, from that point of view. And I would never even venture to go there. We see what is what. But uh, but who knows what the future might bring. Might be very interesting um, after everything sort of uh, shakes down on that. So there we are. But thank you, Jim. Very much appreciated. Anyway, uh, wonderful. And I'm glad I managed to get back to you there with the answer. Give us a call, folks. Telephone number 0141-628-9795. You're listening to Scotty McClure. Saturday night, it's the internet phone-in. This is what it's all about. It doesn't get much better than this, guys. Now, I do want to know if you've checked out every YouTube video or if you've seen it on Facebook, the baby seagull. Does anybody speak seagull? Right? Because uh, I would love to know what they're saying. One of my uh, great desires would be to speak animal languages. Obviously, I'd love to speak all the international languages, bit of Mandarin, bit of Greek, bit of Latin, bit of French, German, Polish, a uh, bit of Arabic, bit of Australian, you know, a bit of Maori, all that kind of stuff. I would I would love to be able to speak that. A bit of Maori from New Zealand, poor Kari Kariana. And um, you know, it would just be remember. And um, it would just be fantastic. Uh, you know, I can remember uh, just the pleasure that it gives somebody to hear a few words in their own language, speak a bit of Swahili, speak uh, Japanese, you know, speak Bengali. Uh, you know, I, I mean, I think that may, Punjabi, you know, a bit of Punjabi. So all that, uh, Urdu, it would be lovely to be able to speak all these languages, but I would love to speak some of the animal languages. And when you hear the bots talking to each other, you know. Uh, Scotty, I vaguely remember the old buses. What looked like a stepladder on the bonnet, what was its purpose? Oh, I'll tell you what that was for, Numpteed. That was for the driver to put his uh, feet into it and haul himself up to wind a wee handle that changed the destination of the bus. So, you know, say he was going, I don't know, uh, Leith Walk, you know, and uh, he, he got the bus and he was up at the top of Lothian Road. He would jump up and change it from Lothian Road to Leith Walk. He was out there, the bus moved for Leith Walk. But I think, I don't know about Edinburgh, Glasgow, you go on the numbers. You say, oh, I think that would be a 38 would get you there, that sort of stuff. I don't know. I can't remember. Um, it's so long since I've been in Edinburgh. The Edinburgh buses were absolutely outstanding. The service was amazing. Buses beautifully clean. The late ones on a Friday night could be a wee bit uh, uh, lively, shall we say. I've you know seen that before. Uh, there we are. Uh, time for me to go. Take care. Everyone looking forward to catching you next time. Frank Meyer, bless you. Love to you in Australia. And so glad that you could join us tonight. It's been an absolute blast, I say to you. Uh, so there you are, the old buses. Uh, good night, Scotty and Kareem. Sleep well. Susan, thank you very much for joining us. And of course, absolutely, if anybody's wanting to phone, Now's your last call for the telephones now. Last call for the telephones for Scotty McClue's internet phone in on Saturday night. One hour of superb scintillating information, education, and entertainment for not just one nation, but for all nations. I'm sorry the internet signal's not that bit stronger, or we could have included all the TikTokers as well, but there it goes, fantastic. Um, anyway, uh, that's uh, that's where we're at. So, Numpty, have a think about that. A couple of good footholds. I think there was two. There might just have been one. But I think there was two footholds at the front for the driver to climb up and change the stuff. Keith would know. Keith would actually be able to tell us. You know, he'd be able to say, aha. He would even remember how many footholds because you would have to know them. And it just... 
gave the driver what we call in Scotland a punty up uh, to let him wind the wee handle that had all the destinations. And it looked like it was a kind of um, heavy linen cloth that was a very bendy. I think it must have been on a roller and have all the destinations painted on it. And it was the same with the Clyde steamers. They had a board, or still have, I think the Waverley's got one, and uh, it has all the sort of destinations on it where that particular boat's going at that time. And you could slide these boards in and out the slots, and that would allow you to tell you where the steamer was going. So when you arrived, say, for instance, you'd come from Edinburgh, and you'd gone through to Glasgow Queen Street, and then you'd got the train, you'd walked around to Glasgow Central, and you'd got the train to Gurukh, and you would see a big sign, a big blue sign, a big sort of railway sign saying, to the steamers. And you went out, and that took you on to Gurukh Pier, and there you would see all the boats sitting, waiting to take you to various destinations. And you might have the Duchess of Hamilton, the Duchess of Montrose, the Waverley, the Jeannie Deans. You might have the Arran, the Butte, or the Cowell to take you by car ferry to Danoon. You might have the Maid of Argyle, the Maid of Skelmerley, the Maid of Ashton, or the Maid of Cumbry to take you to. Um, Craig and Doran, or uh, Kilcreggan, or someone like that, or to go on a wee cruise. You might have the Countess of Bredalbin doing a cafe cruise up to the Holy Loch and back, and you got some condensed milk and some sweetened coffee. So there we are. Uh, what have we got here? Have you noticed that no one writes on the back seats of buses these days with felt-tip pens? I think it was a phase during the 80s. Yeah, I think they put a stop to that. The vandalism isn't acceptable. Of course, there's probably cameras on the buses. So there we are. Frank Meyer says one. Fantastic. Tremendous thing. Uh, so there you are. So I think, Mumpty, that's what you would be talking about there. And um, I'm trying to think. Then also, if your, your destination was, say, Ardrishig in Argyle, which used to be performed by the Columba from Glasgow, leaving at 7.11 up till 1936. You could get the Loch Fine of 1931, and the Loch Fine would take you to Danoon, to Enelan, to Rothsay, to Tinnabruch, brackets, Kyles of Butte, um, to, where does you go after Tinnabruch? She went up to Tarbot after Tinnabruch, and in the summer she would take you all the way up to Ardrishig in Argyll. And that was the, the Loch Fine, the RMS Loch Fine, Royal Mail Steamer. There we are. Fantastic. And she had the mail on board with the red funnels, David McBrain Limited. David McBrain, 1928, brackets, close brackets, limited. David McBrain. David McBrain, brackets, 1928, close brackets, limited. That was it, because 1928 was when they formed the new company. And then after that, I think you had David McBrain, limited, and the Caledonian Steam Packet as part of the Scottish Transport Group. And then uh, I think that became Cal Mac, Caledonian McBrain, and then Cal Mac. How's about that? for a tour of transport in Scotland. Right, my darlings, we are out of time. I'm going to say good night. God bless Dinky Doo. And as we say in the very best of circles, ta -las! But the recordings will sit up on Twitch, on YouTube, on Facebook, and on LinkedIn. And you can visit them. Go to Twitch and follow right now at Scotty underscore McClue. You can follow us on Twitter at Scotty McClue. So this is Scotty McClure saying dinky do to every single one of you. Good night and God bless you. Stick out your tongue and say ta-ta. Ta-ta.